So we're still talking about these different software architectures. We talked about Dataflow and now we will be getting into layered systems and their architectures. So we're going to clear the screen and we're talking about layered, that's a D, layered uh, architecture. So layered systems architecture. And pretty much the best way to think of a layered system is exactly what the name implies in layers. So think of it as a nice layered cake. So we have these different layers and they might affect adjacent layers, touching layers, but they won't affect layers two layers away, if that makes sense. Um, so this first layer can directly impact this layer, but it may not be able to impact and probably won't be able to impact this third layer all the way down here. Now, personally, I've seen this architecture used a lot for web applications and just, I suppose, like mobile applications too. And here's why. So we'll go ahead and draw our system we'll say that this square represents our software system. And let's just say that we're doing, let's say we're doing a, perhaps a class management software. So we'll call this a class software. And in this class software, let's say that we just have different levels or different layers to say it more um, accurately with respect to this uh, topic. So within this, I guess you can see as a more of like a cake, a layered cake, we have this top layer. And this top layer is what, you know, everyone sees. And we're going to call this our, you know, a word a lot of you be familiar with, our GUI layer. And this represents just our, pretty much our interface, what the user is going to see. And again, uh, before I get any other layers, this isn't specifically what a layer system has to go by, these specific layers. Um, the layers are tailored to whatever software you are constructing. In this case, we're doing a web application. So the, of course, the top layer is gonna be this GUI layer. And for our technologies, we'll just say, uh, it's a little bit, it's good to explain when doing layers like this to explain what they actually are. So this is gonna be like HTML, CSS, maybe some JavaScript. And then we're gonna go ahead and change our color for the next layer. We'll do it to about this green. And then our next layer is going to be the logic layer. So we have, ooh, that's a little bit high. So we have our logic layer next. And what this logic layer does, it's gonna pretty much take in the user's interactions from the GUI layer and then transfer that information to the data access layer. So let's say that this was made in PHP. So let's say we interact with the logic layer, uh, the GUI layer, and this activates the logic layer because it's directly adjacent to, and like we said here before, um, they can only interact with these adjacent layers. So this first layer can only interact with the second one. The second one it can interact with both the third and the first one. And again, this is just generally how a layer system should be set up. So our logic layer takes in our GUI interactions and then transfers that information to the data access layer. We'll do this in yellow. So we have our data access layer. And this is pretty much gonna be our connection to the database. So our logic layer is being like, okay, so the GUI, the user is requesting this information. It takes in that logic, that um, interaction, and tells the data access layer, hey, data access layer, I need this information. The data access layer will then go on to the database, which we'll do in, um, let's go with this orange. Next, we have the database layer. And the data access layer will be like, hey, database, I need this information. The database layer will be like, okay, cool, we'll send it to you. So then we have this database layer. Um, that should only be layer, it shouldn't be plural, but we'll leave it for now. Um, and that'll be in whatever database you're using. We'll just say this is MySQL. 
uh, or MySQL, whichever way you're more familiar with here in it. So again, so we have this top layer and it communicates with that layer. This layer communicates with these two layers and then this layer can communicate with the logic layer as well as the database layer and the database layer pretty much only communicates with the data access layer. We see that here. So I'll just walk you through this this uh, software architecture, this system. So let's say you log on to the class software system and you're interacting with the GUI and let's say you log in you're interacting with the GUI layer. You do this and logic layer is like, oh, this person is logged in correctly. Or maybe it can be like, oh, is this person logged in? Why well, need to ask that access layer to get their login information? Hey, is this right data access layer? And the data access layer communicates with the database and verifies your information, passes that back on the logic layer, and then it's like, okay, you're verified. It goes to the next page. And the GUI layer is like, well, there's nothing loaded. The logic layer then communicates the data access layer, hey, we need the information for all the classes so we can display them. So the database layer is like, okay, here's the information. The access layer passes it on to the logic layer, here's the information. And then passes on the GUI layer, here's the information. And it creates a nice interface for the user. Now this is one way to draw the software architecture for layered systems. Um, another way is just layered squares one on top of another. So it'd be maybe GUI layer right here, then we would have our logic layer, data access layer, and our database layer. I just like to do it this way personally because it's, to me it's better to visualize and to see. Um, generally, if you do do this layer, you might want to add in arrows between these two just to show that it flows downward instead of upward. Um, just to clarify between whoever's reading your documentation. And so that pretty much concludes what we'll talk about in this layered systems architecture. And we'll tackle the next architecture in the next lecture.